Mac Goss. Uh, <laughs> no, he knows Mac Goss. <laughs> well, yes, well, it was a bit of a clue, actually. It did say Matt Goss on oh, the front. It? it was a bit of a clue. Um, a bit of a giveaway, then. Well, it was one of Beck Gilroy's old coats hanging downstairs. <laughs> Most of the carpets have been nicked. Um, <laughs> a, yeah, I mean, it's one of those children's TV presenters who's a girl whose names I usually can't remember and they sort of do mm. top of the pops and things. But if you talk to her a bit, I bet I... Oh! All right. Let's talk, let's talk to her. Yeah, let's talk to her soon. about it. Oh, wow. Well, well, yeah, that's, first. that's exactly... You were reading that all off my notes there, weren't you? I wasn't. You're such a cheap It says, hey, Chris, you lend me a tenner. <laughs> and let's face it, you can afford it. No, um, yes, a sort of party girl, kids' TV, uh, Saturday morning, exactly what you oh, said. I would say... <laughs> you would say... Would she have a footballing boyfriend? I oh. don't know. Ah, oh, now you're chipping. No, I was just, sorry, not necessarily a boyfriend, but his, his, um, is her dad a well-known scouser? Ah. No. No. <laughs> All right, then. Is it um, a, a, a girl who's very pretty with long, dark hair or not? I see. I know who it is. Oh, well, it's then. It's the lovely Jenny, Jenny Powell. Jenny Powell. It is. Yes. Yeah. You've got it. Jenny Powell, will you come through the keyhole? <laughs> Great to have you here. They yeah. got they got there very very smoothly, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, there I was I was willing all the way there. Yeah. Oh, what's wrong with Matt Goss? He's doing very well nothing. now. Bless no, him. nothing. Just, Bless him. He's just jealous. He is. Yeah. yeah. He's got the same colour hair though. Nice hat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice but of course, Chris has never been out with Matt Goss. <laughs> I might have been actually. You don't know. <laughs> no, you're very liberal. We I know. Might have been. Liberal, but not that liberal. The, uh, but in fact, going through all the things, we didn't know whether you dressed tonight like, like for the shows, the Saturday morning shows and things we were talking about, where you dress more informal, or of course now with Wheel of Fortune in prime time. I mean, yeah, I have to put shoes on like this now. I so train is, myself to Would you call this? This is basically. This is sort of sophisticated now. It's children's presenter have gone a really. <laughs> <laughs> we like your house, Thanks, girls. We What's like the football thing? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, I do. I know, know a few football. I've not been out with any. No, obviously. No, no. obviously. Who was the one who was going out with yeah, the footballer? Yeah, I'd love to know who that was. I don't was. know. Yeah, what was the football? There was a football in your house, wasn't there? With, yeah, there was. The whole cause... Liverpool team, though, had signed, and <laughs> it was in your bedroom. <laughs> well, well, they're only up the road on the M62, you see, because I'm in Manchester. So. Oh. Yeah, but Chris thought it was Andrea. Boardman for a minute, didn't you? Yeah. I did actually. Something personal. Right. Yes, for a minute I thought when you came on you were going to be Stan Boardman. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was on a little world of Liverpool. We won't mention German aeroplanes then. Ah. <laughs> in fact, the other thing you're connected with in terms of giving an example to people is that is in terms of healthy eating for children, isn't it? Because yeah. you had anorexia once. Yeah, I did. I had anorexia and I had bulimia. Which Both? is quite, yes, I had it all, me. Yeah, well, you, you know, everybody thinks you're really confident and gorgeous and happy with yourself, and you go home and you hate yourself sometimes. Da, da, da. But I'm over that now. But um, I do talk about it quite a lot because I think um, there's an How'd awful lot of people. How'd you get over it? How'd you get over it? Well, I think you've got to own up to it in the first place because um, that's what I did. I realised I was being dishonest to my friends as well as myself. And uh, one of my best friends found me out and said, um, you know, you're, you're being sick a lot, aren't you? And um, I actually said yes and burst into tears, and they helped me through it, really. And now uh, you're trying to help, help other people? Too. Yes, I am. And what would be your ambition next? You, um, you've moved from the old mornings <laughs> and things to the evenings. What yes. Um, I'd like to host a show of my own, actually. Uh, I think us girlies can do it. I mean, I know that um, mm. Sally, she's, she's doing Generation Game, but you could probably do what Jim does. I can do what Nikki does. Of course, I could. we could all do it. <laughs> we could all do what David does. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, we, we look at this. This program is an advertisement for women's liberation here today, yeah. and here to celebrate having you with us. Oh, that'll go with women. Arthur and Martha and the coffee table. It'll go absolutely perfectly. Right then. It. There it is. That's for us to say thank you to you. <laughs> thank you very much for being smashing right. and for being with us okay. and everything. Thank you. Can I have another kiss? Yes, you certainly Cheers. can. Cheers. Mm. Thank <laughs> you.